Hello and welcome to another Binary Bear tutorial. Today I want to show you guys how you can add a, an Excel table into your LaTeX document. The thing is that LaTeX tables are pretty complicated and if you want to achieve a layout like this, like this table is uh, pretty complicated, um, in LaTeX it's just a mess and it's so... it, it would take me too much time. And uh, this is why I'll show you my way of including Excel tables to LaTeX today. My approach is that I'll create a PDF file in Excel and then include that PDF file into my LaTeX document. The good thing about that approach is that if we now look at the LaTeX file, um, the user can even copy text from the file and um, it looks as if it was a LaTeX table, even though it isn't. So now I'm going to show you guys um, how you can achieve that. We'll just uh, open the example I just showed. And uh, it's this table. And we see that uh, the font type is Calibri. And we don't want the font to be Calibri, because um, we want the table to look as much as a LaTeX table as possible. And so we need to change the font. Actually, as far as I know, the LaTeX font is not available in Windows, but there's one looking pretty much uh, the same as the LaTeX font, and that's Book Antigua. So we'll just change the font to that, Book Antigua. And then, um, now, okay, Book Antigua is a little bit bigger than Calibri, so I need to adjust the width of my columns a little bit. Then we'll also open format here and uh, fix the height. And then we go to page layout, page margins, user defined page margins. And now we'll make all these page margins bigger. I'll show you later why this is smart. We'll make them all bigger and here you see why because now the table doesn't fit on one page any longer and this is exactly what uh, what we want we'll see later why then we go to file print and here we select uh, instead of no scale we select um, fit all uh, columns to the page and now we see that uh, the table is scaled to the page and then we go to export and uh, export to PDF and then we'll save our document as a PDF file and uh, we'll save it inside uh, the LaTeX directory and we'll give it a name without spaces. Here I choose table genetic code because um, otherwise uh, LaTeX won't find the file. And we just uh, replace it and then we open the PDF file inside Adobe Reader. It's important that it's Adobe Reader because we are going to use some tools Adobe Reader has in the newest versions and the one we are going to use now is the measure tool, this ruler here and then we just open it and then we click on one place on the top of the table maybe here and then we press shift to uh, measure um, parallel and then we see that the margin at the top is more or less five centimeters and uh, this is very good because we are going to need that uh, later and uh, the left and right hand side are also five centimeters but what we actually are interested in is uh, the margin at the bottom. So we'll scale the PDF so that we see the whole page and then we measure how much, how big the margin from the end, uh, from the lower end of the table to the bottom is. And here we find that it's uh, approximately 18 centimeters. No, yeah. 17.8 17, 17 centimeters. We just uh, remember that 
otherwise we can just uh, measure again and then we include the file you see that uh, the packages I included in the header already include the graphics package which we are going to use another possible to include a PDF is the PDF pages package but uh, I found out that it didn't work that good for this purpose because sometimes when I use PDF pages my PDF would uh, be under some other text I had written and stuff and uh, we don't want that now so we just use the graphics package so we start uh, and put the PDF inside a figure environment so we type begin figure and then we need uh, as parameters we need HTBP you can read uh, somewhere else on the internet how the figure environment works what we want HTTP because we want the um, figure to be inserted exactly where it was defined in the text if that's possible then we insert then we just type centering to center the uh, graphics inside uh, the figure and then we type include graphics and uh, here we need to type the file name of the PDF file as uh, the PDF file is directly in our uh, pro project folder we may just type the name of the file It's important to remember not to type .pdf, but the whole stuff without the extension. And then we need to st uh, then we need some parameters because we don't want this whole PDF to be included with with all these uh, white margins. That's not what we want. It will be a mess. So um, we need somehow to cut off these margins, and uh, we do that by using the trim function of of the include uh, graphics so we type trim and then equals and then trim takes four parameters one how much it shall trim on the left hand side then bottom then right hand side and then top so on the left hand side we have five centimeters as we uh, defined in excel on the bottom we figured out that it was 17.7 like we found it was 17.8 so I'll just type 17.7 to be sure that nothing gets cut off centimeters then we have five centimeters at the right hand side and five centimeters at the top then we need another option that is clip just to make sure that trim works and we want the width to be text width like the width of the text so we'll just type text width and if we then uh, hit compile we see that our graphics or our PDF is ex included exactly the way, the way we wanted it to be included and if we now open it we also see that as I showed before the user can mark text okay this uh, looks like uh, it's working pretty fine but there's actually one special case that I'm also wanting to show you if I for example have a table like this this is a pretty long um, table it's not that complicated so it would maybe in theory be possible to uh, make it as a LaTeX table as well but um, right now I'll just uh, use it as an example because uh, when I'll print this table just uh, Printed, you see that um, the title is always on the top of the page and uh, I have a table that goes over multiple pages and uh, yeah now we'll uh, now we're going to look at how we can achieve that with my method in a LaTeX document there's one thing making this uh, making it uh, difficult to achieve something like this in LaTeX with my method and that is that 
the pages won't break. Like if I just uh, plug in text, here uh, I have some blind text. Just uh, I'll just uh, copy paste it in. Um, you see that uh, the blind text will uh, break. So after one page, it will just uh, continue on the next page. But this won't happen uh, if you just uh, plug in a table with my method because it's just one image. So for this, uh, it's very important that you make sure that your table always is starts in the same position of the page. So uh, right now it's uh, in the start of the chapter, so that's no problem. And yeah, now we'll find out how we can plug this into our table. So um, you need somehow some blind text on the first page where you want your start of the table to be. And uh, then you open the, PD the PDF of the LaTeX file in Adobe Reader again. And then we need to measure once more. And now we are going to measure from here. Then we press shift to the bottom of the text. Okay, now we found that um, this is 16 centimeters. So the first, uh, the first part of our, um, the first page of this long, long table, uh, we want to be 16 centimeters long. Okay, how can we uh, achieve that? What we do then is we go back to page layout, adjust the page margins. Now they are 2.5 everywhere, but we want. Um, we want it just to be 16 uh, centimeters long. So uh, we know that an A4 paper is 29.7 centimeters high. So um, if we subtract 9.7 centimeters on the top, then we have 20 centimeters left. So we need to subtract 4 centimeters at the bottom. Now we have adjusted our table so that it will uh, be 16 centimeters high, at least the first page. And now we see that it takes 20 columns for um, there. Like uh, we need 20 columns for 16 centimeters. So what we do then is. Um, We'll adjust uh, the page margins back. Now we know it was uh, 20 columns. We'll adjust it uh, back to the standard format. And now you want um, the page margins to be exactly your page margins in your LaTeX document. So in my LaTeX document, I have um, 25 millimeters everywhere. So this is what I also want to have in my Excel document now. Now we see that we have far more than just um, 20, um, 20 lines uh, on the first page. So what we simply do is we add cells. And now we'll add cells until uh, the first line is exactly on the new page. Like uh, on the first page we can have uh, columns uh, 1 to 20 and then on the next page we just have 21 and further down. And on these cells down here we'll remove um, we'll remove the margins. So we'll just take them all away. Then we plug the top and the bottom one back in. And then we can just uh, print our PDF the way we did before. And uh, we want it to be um, resized. Uh, like, yeah, 
uh, scale is uh, still chosen and then we'll um, export it again yeah just uh, toc.pdf now we have our table of contents here with just um, the first 20 columns on the first page then on the second page uh, yeah the rest is uh, just normal and uh, now we can go back into our um, LaTeX file and now we'll include the other PDF yeah here is uh, our PDF then we need to open it again and because now we need to figure out the distance down here so we'll measure again and now it's 11.56 centimeters down here and the top left and right one we know so it is the top one is 2.5 the left one is 2.5 they're all 2.5 except the bottom one and we need to add another parameter because now our PDF file contains many many pages oh <laughs> it actually contains 60 pages we won't uh, uh, include them all but now we're interested in the first page so uh, we need to tell um, include graphics that and this is what we do by calling page equals one and then we just uh, hit compile and we see that our first page was added fantastico then uh, we'll just uh, add the second page the same way and now the only difference is that uh, our bottom margin is also 2.5 centimeters because uh, it will take a, a whole page page equals 2 and then maybe we have a third page Yeah, and this is basically what you do. And you see, the good thing is that your table is added and um, you still see um, the header, you still see the page numbers. So, and the page numbers are also right. And yeah, this is, uh, this is how you do.